Okay, so just uh, coming into the uh, the kitchen now, and there's a kitchen cupboard on the left hand side, uh, which has all the um, uh, meters in. Uh, you'll notice on the floor that we have um, the gas meter, and this is a smart meter and sends uh, an electronic signal um, to uh, the gas company with the meter readings on. So you never really need to worry about uh, meter readings uh, when you're talking to the um, the company. And um, on the right hand uh, left hand side here, we've got a similar arrangement with the um, electricity meter so uh, this is uh, this is the meter here itself and this is the module that um, sends the both the gas and the electricity uh, readings to um, to the to the company and uh, we have a, a whole range of different um, bits and pieces now um, this uh, big master switch which you see here um, is only ever used really by people who are coming to the house to do work um, on the electricity so you should never have any problems uh, these will not trip out on their own um, so that there's no sort of um, fuses or anything inside there they have to be manually pressed uh, but generally you never need to worry about those um, but if you sort of follow the uh, the cables through um, up onto here you'll notice that we have this box here uh, which has got um, a little cover uh, on the front and uh, if you sort of have a look uh, inside there there's a couple of um, switches um, this unit is um, for the uh, the shower only um, so uh, in under normal operation you'll see that all the switches um, are in the up position now in the event of a fault or maybe um, they trip accidentally uh, which can happen from time to time now if you find that the shower is not working just come in here and these should actually be in the up position um, if they're not um, then obviously you can just reset them, you can press them and um, press them up. Um, if they uh, trip out a second time almost immediately uh, then there's a fault with the shower and don't use the shower um, but otherwise you should be okay just to uh, try resetting and if everything's okay uh, you'll be good to go again. So that one is for the shower only and that's on its own circuit because it's a power shower and it does take quite a lot of electricity uh, which is why it has its own circuit. And uh, above this we have another box and this is basically um, all the fuses um, for the rest of the house. So when you lift this up, you can see uh, that the normal position uh, for them is in the upright position. So these little switches which you see here, um, and this is, um, this is a master on off switch for all of them, um, but these are individual circuits. And you can see that they are um, uh, uh, described as well. So here we have uh, ground floor lights, first floor lights, we've got um, immersion heater and uh, we've got um, cooker, uh, ground floor sockets and first floor sockets here. So sometimes when a bulb um, pops, um, it's, it occasionally trips out uh, uh, this. So if you find all the lights have gone out but you've still got electricity um, in your sockets, um, just have a, a, a quick come down here and just lift this lid and have a look and so it's probably going to be one of these first floor lights um, or ground floor lights um, so it's probably unlikely to be the other ones on there so you can see all of them need to be in the on position um, in the event that um, there is a trip these will flick down so if I just do first floor lights for example um, if a bulb uh, goes and it takes the circuit with it um, you can see this comes down so what you would do in that case just change the bulb or take the bulb out um, and then just flick it back into the on position and the, the power is uh, restored.